I'm standing here in front of the NZZ, the symbol for objective news. There is a lot of fake news in the stock markets, a lot of fake stories about stock performance. Let's look at the PIX countries that were in such a bad reputation. Portugal, Italy, Greece and Spain. Let's look at Spain first. What you see here in the first graph is the red line is the stock market index in Spain. And as a matter of fact, even though Spain has very, very bad news, it's actually not even going down. But even more important, if you decided to invest every year, if you invest every year the same amount, then you see, then you have what you see here as gray bars. It looks much better because you can buy stocks at cheaper prices. And at the end of 2016, if you invested in Spain every year the same amount, you would be at 179%. So almost double the amount that you invested. Even if you were so unlucky and would have started in 2008, right in, at the credit crisis, right when it was the worst, your stock market index in Spain has decreased from 100% at the beginning of 2008 to about 60% right now. But even then, if you decide to invest every year, which is a realistic assumption for somebody saving with stocks, you are positive. The last four years, you're above 100%, which means your stock portfolio is worth more than uh, what you have paid in. Let's look at Portugal, another interesting case, another country always in the bad news. Well, in Portugal, you would have made almost 250% of your investment you would have more than double, significantly more than double of your investment if you invested in the Portuguese stock index, even though the market went down. Why is that so? Because you can buy stocks at much cheaper prices than you invest every year. Let's go finally to the only sad story. It's Greece. In Greece, if you invested every year, you would have actually lost money. You would be down by about 60 percent, 50 to 60% of your original investment, of your investment of every year the same amount. That said, but again, it's a very unreal, unrealistic example because who would invest only in one market? That's very stupid. Everybody who knows about stock investing knows they have to diversify their risk. And even if they decided to buy Greek stock, they, stocks, they would have a lot of others. If you think about that, diversification and regular investing, you're very sure to be positive. I wish you good luck with your own investing.